Located in the southern province, the processing plant has continued to be a source of controversy as it sits idle despite visits from two cabinet members who promised farmers that it will be soon up and running. And that was more than two years ago. Honestly, do not know what is going on. Two ministers visited, but it is still not operational, which baffles us. What is missing? Certainly not wheat supplies because they are bountiful. I do not know the names of all the officials who have visited it, but I do know two ministers came here, including Geraldine. They gave us assurances that it would soon be operational, and we thought that by the 2019-2020 season, we would see it up and running with no problems. Indeed, back in 2019, the problem that is, Jitare Mills had the country's top leadership asking questions. Just now I was being told of a wheat processing plant that has sat idle for years. I was talking to the provincial governor and asked how a wheat processing plant can be referred to as if it manufactures vehicles. How can a wheat processing plant prove so difficult for people? As the mill sits idle, farmers continue to lose money. After we grow and harvest our wheat, we do not have any processing plant to supply it to. Farmers cannot make any progress when they do not have factories to buy their wheat. Selling the wheat can help us get school fees for students or buy domestic livestock. But with no permanent customers to supply and terrible prices imposed on us by those willing enough to buy our wheat, we really cannot benefit anything tangible from our work. The farmers say they are ready to help if needs be so that the mill can open. If they were to tell us, we would raise the funds because we have cooperatives that are fully functional and we could find a way to get it running. Why don't they communicate the fact that they lack the money? They should organize a meeting with us farmers so that we can decide on how to get our mill operational. The chairman of the board of governors of Jitare Mills explains, however, that it is not that simple. People invested money in the project and ended up unable to pay back EcoBank, and now the mill is being held as collateral by the bank. Meetings are now being held to determine how the person who stole funds can pay back EcoBank and free the mill. We just have to agree with the bank and it will be able to operate again. District officials are urging the wheat farmers not to be discouraged because other buyers for their produce are being found as well, regardless of what happens to the local mill. Our farmers should not be bothered because we have found a market for their wheat. If anything, they should up their production. Much of their produce is to be bought by Skoll, but we have also found a number of bakeries here in the country that want it. The wheat processing plant operated for only a short time before it closed down and could receive as much as seven tons of produce daily when it went under. It is worth more than 400 million random francs.